know, I call it the legal fog. <laughs> you know, we have, uh, you know, some attorneys, we just brought in another attorney, um, which is what you do when you're in our situation. You try to avoid, avoid which basically looks to be a civil war on the ground. Yeah. You know, if, they, if they're able to move ahead. And one of the, you know, some of the things that we are concerned about, aside from the 170 million uh, cubic metric tons of CO2 <laughs> that would go through that pipeline, the equivalent of 50 coal fired power plants. Um, you know, it's like just like really dumb stuff <laughs> to do, right? You know, but um, we're also concerned about the implications for civil society. I mean, because when they, in that hearing, like, as things were getting more and more claustrophobic, at a certain point, you know, it looked like it was going pretty good, and then they kept like not allowing our people into that hearing, and not allowing our people into the hearing, and they were just loaded with more pipeline people. And then they, then the PUC commissioner turns to Ambridge and he says to Ambridge, he says, if we approve this pipeline, will you pay for the police? 